continuing with our final exam review for Algebra 2 on page 6 we're really going to focus on logs and hopefully you remember log circles will help us out take a look at number 28 this becomes 2 to the 7th is going to equal x and of course at, at this point uh, you can definitely figure out what 2 to the 7th is you could take your calculator out and just type in 2, raise it up to the 7th power, and get an answer of 128, and be done. For number 29, again, writing as a log, we had a little statement that the base of the log is also the base of the exponent. For number 29, we know that 3 goes down as the base of the log. The actual power never goes inside of the log. It's equal to the log. And uh, the 81, the last number, has to come here. You can do a log circle to double check that you're right. This would indicate 3 to the 4th equals 81, and it is. So uh, even though we're not using that log circle at the start of the problem, we use it at the end as a way to check. Uh, take a look at number 30. In a very similar way, we can make our log circle and just write 2 to the 0 is equal to 1. Okay, uh, as we look at number 31 and as we look at 32, we're going to expand and condense logs. And uh, just a, a quick reminder, we know that if we had log base b of m plus log base b of n, that was equal to the log base b of m times n. For number 2, if I gave you the log base b of m minus the log base b of n, that would be log base b of m divided by n. And at this point, we also have a third kind of a, of a property, log base b of a to the c power. We can drop that c down and get c times log base b of a. Well, really to take a look at this uh, in a new light, we also said so very often that whatever was down below in the denominator, whatever is down below is going to really have a subtracted term from. And, and we can see that right here. If we have log base b of n, that's going to have a subtracted log base b of n. Everything else that uh, is up on top is going to be positive. So this becomes the natural log of x plus the natural log of y to the fourth, but then we'll say minus the natural log of z. So again, anything down below, you're going to really subtract that term. This is x times y to the fourth, and you see that multiplication. It's really like using property number one. But finally, we're going to bring our coefficient down. Take that 4 and bring it out in front. We'll have natural log of x plus 4 natural log of y minus natural log of z. And we are done. Uh, as we look at number 32, uh, take that 1 half and bump it up. This will become natural log of y to the 1 half. Take that 4 and bump it up. We'll have a z to the 4th. And by the way, uh, just to let you know, this uh, y to the 1 half is really the square root of y. So at this point, just to remind you, everything is added. Look, that's really that first property that we saw, meaning we're really just going to multiply all of the items inside the logs. That's called the arguments. Honestly, we generally put terms in front of a radical. We're going to do that right now. And we've got natural log of x, z to the fourth, times the square root of y. Uh, taking a look at number 33, thank goodness this is a calculator problem that you can do amazingly quickly. And actually, that is on uh, the next page, honestly. Uh, but we'll do that anyway real quickly. We can hit math, 
uh, come all the way down here to log base and we'll hit log base 3 of 30 without very much work you'll get about 3.1 if you go to one decimal place so really that's all we've got uh, for this video we'll pick up with the rest on page 7